Today on Steel Deals, I'm going to do something entirely different. You see, normally I talk about iron, tractors, combines, implements, trucks, and so on. But I'm seeing far more interest in precision ag equipment like this showing up either at dealerships or at auctions, like the sale being conducted by Steffes Auctioneers. What we have here for sale today is a John Deere ITC Starfire receiver and a 2600 display. Now in the past, used precision ag equipment sat on shelves collecting dust, or it would go with the machinery that is being sold. Today, there's a growing marketplace for such equipment as both farmers and dealers are realizing that they have worth. A good example of this can be found on Deere's online dealer site, machinefinder.com. Searching that site, I uncovered 25 listings for Starfire receivers and no less than 81 2600 displays. I went online and was stunned. The simple search turned out even far more precision ag equipment beyond deer. And that is just the tip of the iceberg regarding the availability of used precision ag equipment that I recently discovered when talking to John Bickle of Used Precision Ag Solutions. I'm talking with John Bickle of Used Precision Ag Solutions. And John, I'm looking at this piece of uh, precision ag equipment at this auction I'm attending. What should I look for if I'm buying a piece of equipment like that? One thing I also look at is try to look at the serial number of the device and uh, see what year it was made. Sometimes the serial number tells you the year it was made, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, on some of these touchscreen devices, these touchscreens only last, you know, five, six years and they do wear out. Do you have any buying tips when buying used equipment? And you want to know what the new price is too. I mean, having an idea what they'd sell for new and find out what you can purchase it used for. Uh, I've been to some auctions where <laughs> things have gone higher than new. Um, so it, it, it pays to do your research ahead of time knowing what the costs are. How can you do that research? A lot of times you can go online, you can give me a call, there's people you can call your local dealers. They'll give you some ideas of what prices or what things are worth uh, on the market right at that point. You'd mentioned like on screens being one of the pitfalls. Are there other pitfalls to buying used equipment uh, either from a dealer or at auction? Having all the cabling. I mean, um, you'll be surprised how many people call me and they said they bought a monitor, but they're missing this cable or missing that cable. So knowing that all the cabling's there, all the cards are there, the, the, the mounts are there, uh, if it comes with a manual, but usually you can download the manual free of charge online from all these places. What about warranty? Now, you might buy a tractor, has some gear in it, it's no more than a year old or so. Does that mean the warranty necessarily always crosses over to the next buyer? Typically a warranty on a monitor is one to two years. Um, so they will transfer over. I mean, uh, they're not tied to an individual person most of the time. So they will transfer over. Um, but odds are you're probably going to buy something without a warranty on it. Now, if someone needs to contact you, how would they do that? If they go to our website, usepercisionag.com. Thank you for the information, John. Let's get back to the auction. I got three on the net, now four. four I'm bigger than four now. Four than five now. I got four than five, five, five than five. Everybody needed a break. And now did you want to bid and five hundred out of where? I got four than five, five, five than five. Internet want to bid and five hundred out of here. I got four hundred and then the men and five, five, five than five, five than five, five than five. Just for guidance, right here, 500 and times up, gonna sell it in the crowd. I'm five now, six, six right here, what do you say? Hey, look at there, six and seven, seven, seven. Hey, did anybody know 700 out of where? Hey, look at there, now 700 out of bona bitty, 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 700 out of bona bitty, 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 700 out of bitty, now did you wanna bitty, 700 out of there, now high of them times up. So, 600 out of. Ladies and gentlemen, line number 130, we got this AMS equipment right here. It's a John Deere 2600 display. I got 20, 100, 22. I got 20, 100, 22. 1, 50, 50, 50, 20, 50, 50, 20, 50. Anybody in now 23. I got 20, 50, 24. I got 20, 50, 24. Internet got a 50, 50, 50, 2400 out of where? I got 20, 50, 24. 1, 50, 50, 50, 24, 24, 24. Tim says there's activations. 24, 25. I got 25 with the 26. I got 25 with the 26 right here. 1, 50, 50, 50, 2600 out of where? I got 25 with the 26. I get that much for brown box and SF1 cards. 26, 26, 26, 26, 26, 27, 26 and 7, 7, 7. Hey, you've been the been 27 right here now. I've been 27, 28. I get 27 right here, been 28. Spend enough time. 2800 under there now. 9, 9, 9, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59, 59
sold it three thousand dollars so how does the 600 and the three thousand dollar final bids on the receiver and the display compare to dealer asking prices remember I had mentioned that I had tracked down 81 displays for sale with prices ranging from $2,200 up to $2,900, but the vast majority of them were priced to sell at $2,750. And what about those receivers? The entire lot of 25 ITC receivers listed at MachineFinder.com were marked at $900. Certainly the marketplace has found consistent prices for equipment, but knowing a reasonable bid isn't enough when buying used electronics. Like John Bickle said in the interview, you really need to know what is current on the market. Has the item you're interested in been well taken care of? Does it have all the accessories like cables to make it run? Has it been tested? Does it even run? Those are all good questions to ask before buying. Get answers from people like John or your local equipment dealer. Now, for more information about used precision ag solutions, go to their website at usedprecisionag.com. I'll see you again next week on another Steel Deals Report. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here if you haven't already, and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video. And click here to see more great videos.